Hey guys, this is Wild Horse Studios and today I'm going to take you on a short little customs uh, collection tour. Um, so the majority of these are customs that I've done, but I do have a few that are done by some other people and I'll name those out when I get to them. But um, yeah, so let's just get started. So up here, this first pony I have is um, the Drastic Custom Stone Pony by Shannon Mayfield. Um, he's re-sculpted into a fell pony, um, and he has, he's shown pretty well, but yeah, he's, he weighs a ton because there's a bunch of epoxy on there, and no, looking at him, you wouldn't guess he's a stone pony. Um, and then I have Star Quality, which was the first Totalist custom I did, um, it's the year that Totalist came out, so quite a while ago, um. And then I have Iapetus, who um, is a custom Friar Saddlebred with a long mane and long tail. Then I have um, a custom Stone Drafter. He is a Dapple Bay. He actually shows really well too. Um, he's one of my older customs as well. Then I have here, I have Dumbledore. Um, he's a custom slight uh, drafter. And then I have this custom weather girl by uh, Monica West. Couldn't think of her name for a second. Um, but she's a really pretty dapple gray repositioned into a galloping pose. I've got this dapple gray mare that I did. Um, it's a stone Arabian. And then I've got Mosaic, who's a Chestnut Sabino Stone Tennessee Walker. I've got Loveless, who's a Sabino Wyatt. I've got Gizmo, who's a Red Roan Overo. And then I've got Frank, who's a, a portrait of a paint horse that I trained a few years ago. Um, but he's a Palomino Roan Tobiano. And down here I have Gentleman's Club, who's a Bay Sabino-ish with a braided mane and tail. And then I have this guy. This is Kay Bruto. He was my, I think, 2017 Best Customs entry. He didn't get picked as a finalist, but he's really quite pretty. He's got some reverse dappling. And then I have this guy, Red Roan, with some reverse dappling. On the same mold, they both have um, tucked and turned heads, which I think has suits the mold better. I don't like him quite so much with his head way up in the air, but he's real pretty with his head tucked a little bit. And then this guy, he's a custom Copper Fox Cobb re-sculpted into a Fjord by Frosty Birch Studio. And he is like super pretty. Yeah, I don't buy customs by other people very often, but when I do, it's going to be something pretty cool. And then I have Dapper Dan, who is my Dapple Gray um, Copper Fox Welsh Cop. I have this portrait of Danaway Tango that I painted. Um, and he has his all done hair by hair. It's really pretty too. It came out really nice. Some of those hair by hairs are like real tricky. And then I have this flax and chestnut splash um, copper fox cob. And he's based off of an actual horse too. So um, then I have 
This is Rivley. Um, he's based off of a Welsh cob that I trained, well, that I started training. He I taught him to do basic groundwork. And then this is Audacious. Um, it's a bay copper fox cob with a big white face and three white legs. It's also based off of an actual horse. Um, a lot of the customs that I do are based off of real horses. Um, so then this is Logadis. Um, she's a bay Tobiano. She's resculpted to a mayor. Um, She's a Beethoviano. She's based off of an Icelandic that I saw at Briarfest uh, a couple of years ago. She was my 2018 Nemo Pemo horse. And then I have Arkiver, who's a Grulo Icelandic stallion. Then I have Aerosmith, which is this Dappled Bay. He's another one of my older customs that has kind of stuck around. Um, then this is Skipadelic. This guy, um, I don't know that he actually has a name, but he, um, he's a custom by Lisa Bickford that I picked up at Briarfest, uh, I think this year or a year before. I'm not totally sure. But um, I noticed the other day when I was looking through stuff, he has some epoxy lifting on his neck, which makes me kind of sad because he's really nice and I really like that his hind legs are tucked up more. But I don't know if I can fix that or what, but either way, he's really pretty. And then uh, some of these are resins on this shelf too, so I'll just go ahead and go through them as well since they're here. But this is a honey bun resin by Stacy Tomlinson that I painted into a nice Belgian, Belgian blonde Palomino color. And then this is Chewy. And then this one is Rio's Rumor, this little heartbreaker foal. Rio's Rumor is a portrait of um, the foal that my Hanoverian mare had in 2007. Um, that I, I found some pictures and some videos and stuff of her online, but um, she was uh, My mare was mother and then the sire was Eric Lamaz's show jumper Rio Grande um, And you can look up some videos of that stallion and stuff too, but he's a world famous stallion um, Then this is Dunbar's gold. He's a another portrait, but he's a chestnut Brindle on the Geronimo. And then this one back here, I don't know that I can get her out without knocking everybody over. But um, this is a roached mane and tail, well, the top of the tail is shaved, um, in Stone and Delusion. She's painted to a Dapple Bay, and her name is Ariana. And then I have Horatio. And Hamlet and Baldito, sculpted by Claire Stokes. Um, so I've got a dapple gray, a dapple buckskin, and a bay sabino. Then down here I have Lorando B. Yeah, hiding in the corner back here that I don't know if I can get out. But he's a dapple bay with a somatic mutation on his front leg. He is based off of an actual horse. I do have reference photos for him. Um, and the Mindy Mosaic run that I painted at Stone is also based off of that same horse. Um, then I have Gizma. Uh, I don't actually... I think she's sculpted by Katja Elp, but I don't remember for sure. But she's painted to a dapple metallic... or not a dapple, a metallic buckskin. She came out really nice. She was my, my birthday present to myself this year. But I really love that resin. She's huge. Then I have Zeus. Zeus is a Dapple Bay Alborozo. No markings, just a nice little Dapple Bay. And then underneath him, I have Thor. 
who is like kind of his mini bean, but not quite. I just finished him a little while ago. But he's a Dapple Bay Mini Alborozo with a star. Then I have Octepo. He is a custom Mawari. He was my customs contest entry, Briarfest custom contest entry for this year. Um, he didn't get picked as a finalist. I was kind of hoping he would because he's got a lot into him. He's got hair by hair details on his face and all over his barrel and his pattern. And he's a really pretty metallic buckskin Appaloosa. He's based off of an actual horse too. He's based off of, um, I can't remember. It says in his pierce on his tag, but it's a um, an Akalteki Appaloosa cross. And then underneath him, this is Loki. He's a sunburnt black um, mini Albrozo. It's really hard to see, but he has some brown brown tones in his mane and tail and on his flank and stuff. Um, then this is Indigo. Indigo was my 2016 Best Customs Contest entry and he actually did make it to the finals. Made it to the top six when they actually took six instead of three. Which is real exciting. So he's one of my favorites. He'll He'll never go anywhere. He'll pretty much always be here. It's just because that was such a, a special thing. And it's really hard to get into that contest as a finalist. And then this is Endo. So Endo is my custom Belegro based on Endo the Blind. So I removed his eyes. Gave him a roached mane, and then painted him as a portrait of Endo, and um, I actually painted one for Endo's owner as well. She owns another copy of him, and her copy does not have hoof stripes. Um, well, my copy does, so but they're almost almost identical. And this is a portrait on the show jumping warm blood mold of Rio Grande, who I said earlier is the, the sire of my mare's 2007 pole. But he is a he was a long mane and tail show jumper, took his long mane off and gave him little braids instead. And he's painted just to a nice Nice bay with the, the Hanoverian brand. And the full the full actually has the Hanoverian brand too, but it's on it's always on the left left side hip. So I you'd have to pull her out to be able to see it. And then on these next couple of shelves, these are all portrait horses of um, horses that I've had or ridden throughout my life. Um, so this one on the end, this is Liza, and I'll stick like pictures of the actual horse um, in one of the corners somewhere so that way you can kind of see um, what the real horse looks like. But um, this is Liza, and this mold is like kind of an odd choice, I think, for most customs, but it really does fit her build, honestly. Um, it fits her really well. She was a very um, small built thoroughbred. She had real tiny legs, real tiny face. Everything about her was just built very small. Um, and then I have Bo. Bo is on Geronimo mold. He's a little overall paint with a brand on his shoulder um, and two blue eyes. And then this is, this Icatus is a portrait of my Hanoverian mare Tinkerbell. So she has the little herring on her face and then her 
star, which is like half of a star, but then half of it has grayed out a little bit. Um, and then she has the Hanoverian brand on her hip as well. And then I have the mini version of Tinkerbell down here on the Cantering Warmblood mold. And Tinkerbell, she has her front white foot has stripes while her back one does not. Which is, is true. I got some pictures of her with right after a bath one day with clean hooves and it was kind of interesting. And then I have, um, this is a Katuya resin. Um, I painted it as a portrait of my Mustang mare in a winter coat. So her coat is darker in the winter time than it is in the summer. And in the winter she has this very bright um, colored muzzle as well. But she also has a brand. Her brand is very hard to read in the winter time, which is why it, you can see it there, but it's very faint. Um, in real life, her mane sits on this side, so you can't see it at all. But um, for the resin, I wasn't going to re-sculpt it for that. And then I also have Mini Izzy down here on the Murado resin, or Murado stable mate. Um, when I got my Stablemate Club Murado, my first one was really badly, pretty badly flawed. It was scraped all over and it was, it was bad. So I contacted them and they sent me another one and I repainted the first one as a portrait of Izzy. So she's a bay with a star and then she has her brand on the side of the neck here and then Izzy also has this white mark on her left shoulder. I'm not really sure what it's from. I don't know if it's always been there or if it's a rub from like something from a previous owner or what, but um, she really does have that little mark on her shoulder. And it's on the resin as well, although it's a little bit more faint again because of the winter coat. Um, and then I have this little Chips Warm Blood. This is a portrait of um, one of my favorite school horses from college. This is a portrait of Gigsby. Um, he was a, he's a Belgian Warm Blood. And honestly, I think this color really came out well for him. And he does have this kind of like lighter color in the, the edge of his mane. And then this is a portrait of Cherokee. He was my my Welsh pony um, that I he was the Cherokee was the first horse that I ever competed over fences. Um, he really taught me a lot. He was a little 11 hand pony. We just had to put him down earlier this year. Um, but yeah, this color is like very true to his um, summer coat color. He was a very metallic um, colored buckskin. And he has a little spot on the top of his rump and white hairs at the top of his tail. And then this. Arabian, this Bay Arabian right here. Um, that is a portrait of my other favorite school horse from college, uh, Fancy. So she's a nice dark bay with a lighter, slightly lighter colored nose and a little star and two socks. Um, she was my Namo Pamo horse from 2017. But yeah, just a nice, nice little bay. And then I have, this is a Cooper Resin by Maggie Bennett, um, painted to a portrait of my Flea Bitten Gray Tobiano Arabian Gelding um, that I used to do eventing with. Now he teaches kids, gives lessons. Um, I wanted to go and do some bigger jumps and do some more with eventing, and he really wasn't fond of jumping. He would do it to a certain degree, but um, Bigger jumps were not going to be in his um, in his ability. He just wasn't wasn't a very brave jumper. Um, so he gives lessons to kids now, and I jump around Izzy and Tinkerbell instead. So 
So then down here, we'll keep going with the portrait horses. Um, this is a short mane, long tail-ish, painted to a portrait of my quarter horse. Um, he was completely solid chestnut with just a little tiny spot on his nose. Um, he was a really good horse. We um, ended up with him when he was a baby. He had broken his stifle. Um, so that was how we ended up with him. Um, he got got rehabbed and he was he could never really move forward. He was kind of a permanent Western pleasure horse. He didn't ever go any faster than that because he physically couldn't. Um, but he lived lived a very good life and um, we ended up we sold him later um, to a nice nice little girl who ended up uh, riding him and showing him for a while. Um, and then this is Bart. He's a chestnut uh, overall. He's got got hair by hair markings all down his chest and back and all of everything. And then he's got one blue eye and one brown eye. Um, but he came out really nice. He took me forever to get finished. And then he has. Um, a custom mane with, that's super long uh, and has some wind knots in it because that's what he looked like when we got him. He had this really huge mane with wind knots and it all ended up, we had to cut a bunch of it off. He ended up with a short little, short little mane like that after we got done with it. It was just too hard to get any of that out. I don't know how long it had been like that, but yeah, he was, he's a good horse. And then this is a portrait of Chewy. Um, we still have Chewy. He's retired now, um, but he's a chestnut overall uh, with two blue eyes, and he, um, I used to, I was retraining him to jump and do some, some more hunt seat stuff. He was originally a rodeo pickup horse um, before we ended up with him, and he ended up, he was out in the field and he got his leg caught on I think a piece of metal or something that got out in the field that wasn't supposed to be there and he tore his leg open really bad um almost ripped the tendon in his hind leg apart um and so he was on stall rest for several months and but now he he's fine and he goes and he lives out in the field and he's retired from doing any any work he just hangs out and lives out his days um so then down here I have portraits of the two driving ponies. So the this is a portrait of Amish. She's a little flaxen uh, chestnut Shetland pony. She's very her pony is very very old. Um, she she was Amish trained, which is why she's named Amish. Um, but she has a lot of gray hairs all over her face. Um, I don't know for sure how old she is, but easily in her 30s would be my guess. Um, and then this is a portrait of Mega Pony. Mega is just a bay, and she's got a real light colored belly and flank, um, and a real cute face with a big white marking. And then I have my Rearing Pebbles Resin. He's painted to a Silver Bay Overo. He's based kind of loosely on an actual horse. I think I pulled his pattern from a real horse, but I changed the color just slightly um, to fit what I wanted. But he's got super detailed blue eye and brown eye and he I think just went to his first show at the little horse show in September he did pretty well I think he got second I don't remember um, and then back here I have oh don't knock anybody over I this is um, Dumbledore Dumbledore is a custom collector Shire, I think. 
Clydesdale. Custom Collector Clydesdale. Um, on these collectors, I half the time, unless it's some of the minis, because the minis will come off easy, I don't always take off the stamps because they're really hard to get off. Um, but he's painted to a nice bay Sabino. He's also done hair by hair. And then my third one from that little Sabino set, I have Ginevra. Um, she's a black Sabino. She's probably my favorite. She's the most detailed out of the three. And now we're going to get into all the minis, because they're all together for the most part. So then I have my two Tiger Customs. I have a little Frolicking, frolicking Foal and a mini Vallegro for my little mini Vallegro conga. I did these, I did four of these. I did, donated two of them to um, Save the Tigers show in uh, March of 2018. And then I made these two for myself because I thought they came out really cute. So then down here is my Vallegro conga. Quite a few of these are all customs, so. I have this Seal Bay Roan Tobiano. He's based on an actual horse. Um, then I have a, a Silver Bay. I have a mini, there's a mini version of Sinza, which was the raffle model. And a mini Indu. And this is a mini, I can't for the life of me remember his name right now, but he was the web special um, Acadia. Acadia, the mini version of Acadia. Then I have a mini Gold Vallegro. And then I have a Flea Bitten Gray, a Wedgwood. Um, this is a Buckskin done by Elena Wright. And he came out really nice. He looks a lot like the picture that I sent her. But he's really pretty. And then I have this guy who I think was based off of a decorator that I saw online somewhere, but um, he's just kind of a speckled, vintage looking gray with a gloss finish. And then the gold one has a gloss finish. And then I think that's it. I thought maybe there were three. Oh, and then, then this. Mini Vallegro is custom glossed. Um, I custom glossed him so I could have like a mini of all the little, all the Vallegros. So then the rest of the custom minis are down here. It's not very good light down here, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so I have a sunburnt black Django. I have a buckskin Appaloosa Tushar. Um, that's based off of a, a gypsy banner, a real gypsy banner. And then this one is also a portrait of um, a pony that I know. This is Molly. It's a Shetland pony. I don't know for sure what the real horse is. I think she's some kind of a crossbreed. Um, but a little chunky Bay Pinto pony. And then I have my ground effects resin in a bay pinto, or a, just a bay, bay with chrome. And then I have um, Belton. Um, he's a portrait of um, a Mustang called Abraxas. He was on the internet adoption earlier in 2018. Um, but he's an Ovro, and he has all of these little Belton spots within his white markings. Which, Belton spots are like the same thing as cat tracks and Tobianos, but um, that's like, I guess the official term for them is Belton spotting. But it doesn't happen that often in Overos. At least not that I've seen anyway. And then this is Maestro. He's based off of a, an actual Mustang. Um, so he's a little pretty little, little flax and chestnut overall. He's a real dark, dark chestnut, too. And then I have 
Titan down here. He's um, kind of based on Clinton Anderson's horse, um, but mine is a bay instead of being a chestnut. I just liked him better in the bay color. He just has the same pattern. And then I have Sultan, um, who's based off of a, a Mustang. And then I have Smiley, who's a Grulo Pinto. And this is Brownie. And then back there is Titan's Legacy, the foal. And I have Prince Charming, a little bitty, I think it's a safari gypsy. And then this is a Black Rabicano Mini Winnie. This is a Sarah Rose Nevada resin painted to a bay brindle. And then this is Sadiq. He's a flea bitten gray with a bloody shoulder. He was, I think, one of the first flea bitten grays I ever did. And then I have Brightwater. Um, he's a portrait of a British. I think he's a British sport horse. Um, and he started, the real horse started with Elisa Wallace, and then um, he got passed to one of her students to ride. But he's a real pretty Bay Tobiana. And then I have this little, he's another safari. Um, Western Pleasure, uh, I guess just a Western Pleasure horse. I don't know if they have names, but, um, he's a flax and chestnut overall. He came out really nice. And then these two are OF, these ponies. This is a Wedgwood, um, G1 quarter horse painted by Honey Gibbons. And then that's another little safari horse painted to a Bay Sabino. This guy is a resin. I don't know for sure what the name of the resin is, but he's painted a, to a chestnut. I don't know who he's painted by either. I won him in a raffle um, at a model horse show. And then I have a Shetland pony. He's got a little custom mane and tail on it. Um, painted to a Palomino. I have a Highland Pony painted to a Palomino. And then the last two down there, I have a custom um, Arabian in a bay. Um, he's a drastic, kind of a drastic custom. He's two different stable mates put together. Um, but he doesn't stand very well, so he's down there on the end until I can get him fixed. And then the last one is a Grulo Schleich Icelandic painted uh, his name is uh, Piocker. He's done really well too. Um, he's done gotten quite a few neat cards. And then I think maybe there was one other further up. Um, oh yeah, there's one more. This is another um, another one painted by Honey Gibbons. This is like my favorite OF color. I just love it. But um, yeah, he's custom. So I think that's it as far as the customs go. Um, I finished this guy the other day too. He's a little mini Copper Fox Exmoor that I painted too. Just a nice little thing. Um, but I think that should be it. So, oh, there we go. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. So, these are all the ones that I've just kept from my personal collection and show string and stuff. So, I do have a bunch of stable mates I could go through. Um, 
for another video if you guys wanted. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching.